Now here's a little video game fact. Whenever you see part of a character, say just an arm or a limb, whatever, usually the whole model is there. It's a lot easier to just bring in the whole model and hide most of it than it is to just only have an arm. And that's the case for Mommy. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Yeah. That's Mommy's default model. This is a whack model of Mommy down here. None of the other T-posing... Okay, shut up, <laughs> Poppy. Fuck, it's replaying the sound effects. Because I have the game paused. <laughs> uh, none of the other Mommy models look like this. Her hair is, like, inside her face. Her arm is fully disconnected from her body. That's... It, it looks crazy. But yeah... Pretty much any time you see mommy's arm, it's because her real body is somewhere. And it's just extending out of that body. Wow! Interestingly enough, in all of these openings, I've added lights so we can actually see, the Huggies are already there, and they're not quite the same as the Chapter 1 Huggy. I mean, look at this mouth. <laughs> And all colors are just kind of chilling there, ready to go. I imagine once they're once they're called forward, they start their animation. That's the same for all of them. And come marching at you. Look, it's the piss huggy. And here's what they look like from behind, all lit up. <laughs> start of the chapter obviously closely resembles the end of chapter one, because that's when it's supposed to take place. These rooms really aren't too different from what you see in chapter one. And I'll show a quick comparison if you're curious to see the difference. Looks incredibly similar, on the inside that is. Poppy's room, pretty unchanged. Poppy's model, I think she changed dresses, but that's probably not that important. <laughs> also, um, when I went back to play chapter one for that clip, I forgot that I had the Kermit mod on still, so here's what Kermit looks like after he's fallen out of the world. Ah, uh, what an instant classic. You probably noticed when I showed that chapter one clip that the skybox was white in chapter one. They made the skybox dark. For this chapter and that's what most games do because when there's like a break in the geometry or something doesn't load it's not like you're looking into the sun the files between chapter one and chapter two are completely different uh they didn't add on to chapter two they essentially made an entirely different game and you just downloaded it in addition to chapter one a lot of just how the game was built is way different between chapters now let's watch these things come out of their holes why don't we Oh my goodness. So he zooms forward and then just super slowly advances. That's so interesting. It like, oh. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> Hold the phone. What the fuck? The path that would normally lead back to chapter one is blocked by a stack of boxes. And if you go down here, they made the hallway, but then... They just kind of stopped at the stairs, which is fair because you would never see anything past this point. Also, the game loads whole areas at once and only loads the next area when you pass a certain point. A system I much prefer over, like, loading areas as the player gets closer. I have an appreciation for intelligent loading systems after playing Security Breach. Underneath the Ludwig door, there's an extra door. I have no idea why, it's also kind of separated from the door frame. Perhaps this door is an imposter, and this is the real door. Down in the void, forgotten, is this little dino toy, which... I don't know, it, it fell and they never bothered deleting it before publishing the game, I guess. When you get over here for the first time, this door is boarded up, and through it you can see... One hell of a fucking massacre, whatever went down here. Like, there's no way that cat produced this much blood. Okay, we gotta see this death again. Does it happen with every single type of Huggy? Does it just make, like, this incredibly weird shape? Alright, Huggy. Get him. Let's see it. Get him. <laughs> oh my god, they all do it. They all do this shit. <laughs> 
What the hell? What do you guys think of this? Oh, they're freaking out. Serious question. If this poppy is always here waiting, then who's the one that meets you down here? And her vent, it doesn't go anywhere. How does she cross the chasm and make it into Elliot's room? Clearly, this is part of the lore. Unfortunately, there is no dicks drawn on the underside of the table. The chasm here obviously isn't that deep and it kind of just ends, but you can see that if you watch speedruns, because we uh, clip into it to cross it early. This room's interesting, because all you do is come in here, say hello to Poppy, she gets snagged from the depths, and there's all these extra rooms that you never interact with. There's like a lot of infrastructure keeping these rooms up. Big walls on each side, they obviously don't lead anywhere, and there's nothing in each room. But damn, these walls are th Thick. I don't know. They didn't need to make the walls so thick. I know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> That's Markiplier's birthday, by the way. I almost wonder if it was tailored to him. Here's a good look at the bunny man himself. And of course. Oh my god. Inside the bunny man. He's got like a Lego man head. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy's neck is like a Lego man, huh? It's like you're assembled. That's interesting. You don't usually see stubs. Uh, huh. You know what's wild? The audio for this message, whatever, is really centralized. You completely lose it. Once you <laughs> leave this little area. Pretty crazy, hey, Bunzo? Yeah, pretty crazy. Anyway, let's wait for mommy to do mommy things. Oh, isn't it amazing? Bonzo must be. It's been such a long time since he's been able to play. Lamau. <laughs> Look at her feet. What a clown. <laughs> wait a second. Oh shit. Oh lord. Well, time to see what the POV jump scare looks like. It's going down. Also, Bunzo can fly. Oh my god, he's not connected by anything. He can fly. What? Oh shit! <laughs> Get fucking dumpstered, player. Hit him so hard his symbols disappeared. For doing such a splendid job. Mm-hmm. Take it. Mm-hmm. You're not fooling anyone, Mom. You see that? That's an arm with a paper. Oh, maybe it's this arm. But no! Her hand's right here. There's another mommy somewhere. My goodness. Mommy and Bunzo. I never would have known. This also means that we only killed one of the two mommies. There's the mommy over there. And there's the one who's with Bunzo. Game Station's a pretty nice place. A funny little detail, the windows are lit up, but they used a darkness skybox. So how'd they pull this off, you might ask? Well, with one very thin <laughs> line of light and then it just fades back into void. If you follow the train track all the way backwards, it looks like it fades off into darkness, and guess what? It does! The world actually just ends here. I actually walked this during a stream, and you fall out of bounds. You, you fall out of the world. We are gonna fall into the void. Despite this being the start of the game, Poppy with the final train code is always right here, which I mentioned in my speedrun video. Here's a look at the full game station from the top. If you're unfamiliar with the game, there are three kind of doorways down here. Uh, one, two, three, that lead to the three sections of the game. Before you take the train and end it, which we'll look at later, maybe not in this video. Here's that cool stairway. I like it. 
Oh my god, this area looks like the back rooms. Holy shit. So here's Kissy Missy before she comes and helps you with the handle. And weirdly enough, despite me shining a light on her, she refuses to take on light, I guess? I, I really don't know what to say. There isn't a ton to say about where Kissy Missy ends up going, but we'll watch the whole thing from behind. fades into the darkness despite there being more than enough light to keep her lit up and is she on the floor hold on yep found her <laughs> uh you can kind of see right at the end <laughs> oh my gosh it's terrifying her eyes are are they're 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 not bloodshot but they sure are pink shot huh so after her little debut with the handle, she's just yeeted underground. <laughs> Lovely. These tiny little hands, this is the player. This is what you see. The hands are in the real game. You just kind of, your camera's right about here and you see them. Look at her eyes, man. Look at those bloodshot motherfuckers. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> is there a brain? Nope. Just an incredibly terrifying inside of her head. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. Oh. Bye, Poppy. Incredible. She teleported while not even being in a full vent. Don't you wanna come with me? She's got superpowers? Fun fact about the monitors that play movies. Uh, it's not very hard to navigate the game's files. Not very hard at all, actually. And you can very easily just replace the movie files with anything you want. You can have anything play on all of these screens. For the most part, they don't change the game at all. I plan on doing 100% speedruns, where I collect everything and put every VHS in. And I'm gonna have just, like, random fucking videos play on it. It's gonna be pretty fun. I think I just discovered a new soft lock. I'm stuck inside Barry. This is no, no, no sort of cheat engine shit. I'm stuck, Barry. What the hell? Mom, Barry consumed me whole and now I have to use cheats to teleport myself out of him. Mom. So first of all, you don't have to kill Barry. Once he's in motion, you can just go underneath that barrier. I want to see if we can not kill Barry. Chat, we did it. We saved Barry. <laughs> but if you're heartless enough to do it, here's where he goes. I don't actually know. Somewhere down here. <laughs> I thought my lights would capture him, but uh, he went pretty fucking far down. I'll see if I can find him. Oh, Barry. Oh, poor old Barry. Permanently rolling in the void. This is what you monsters who kill Barry do. He looks so afraid. So as I mentioned in my previous video, if you reload the game and spam right click, you can get the green hand early. Obviously your hand is fully outstretched somewhere in the void. But as it comes back, on screen you'll see the green hand in your hand, but from the outside there is no green hand. It's only active for you, the player. As soon as you look at it from the outside, it's gone. Incredibly weird. I don't understand it at all. There's another scary death room here with a cat that's produced way too much blood and a dead flower. Followed by more bloodstains and the void. When I was first looking around here where mommy grabs your hand and taunts you with Poppy, I was like, oh, huh. Their models aren't here yet, that's interesting. Usually that's the case. 
But then, <laughs> but then I looked a little bit harder, and here she is, squirming with uh, mommy's mm, yeah, tape on her mouth. And so with that in mind, I was like, okay, well, where's mommy then? Because she's nowhere near. But over on this side... <laughs> All right, this is going to be interesting. What? <laughs> that super whack model of mommy is back here. Man, it's crazy. And it's playing a looped animation of her grabbing your red hand. I, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> why, but that's what's happening. Pretty, pretty whack. <laughs> we all want to know what's in the MILF watermelon. Oh. Oh god, I can't catch the milk watermelon. Wow. The elk shit. Crazy. <laughs> Any brains? Oh, yeah. I set up a whole bunch of lights. Let's see if we can capture her on her way up with one of these. Nice. She just... Oh, oh no, she doesn't. <laughs> Hold on. So after that little mummy log, she just goes back to where she was before, except now she doesn't have to replay the same animation. Interesting. Here's that big storage room, as seen from the top. Also, interestingly enough, when you're in a lot of missions in the game, the train station is still loaded in, but the fucking train is missing. So if you were to ever accidentally clip back into here, you would not be able to finish the game. But back to the storage room. If you want to just like not bring that hooky thing all the way over here, do all this nonsense, just like stand on this platform and bring the soccer ball over. Ta-da! Wow, what a tough challenge. Here's something I didn't notice. Obviously, after the button's name, Mommy kind of just pieces out. But... Sneaky bugger. She just kind of stays clinging to the ceiling. It doesn't look that bad. It's kind of just the last position you see her in. We were pretty confused about the Wacka Wuggy Room when we first played it. But we kind of came to the conclusion as a chat that it's a litter box. I almost wonder if it's a litter box for all the huggies. That would be interesting. That would be spicy. She's not even standing on anything. <laughs> oh my god, look at that foot slide. That's clean, mommy. Alright, so round two with the apparent arm thing. She didn't even try to hide it. Her arm's right there. Oh, yeah, sure. 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 <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> what a strange place to put her model. Considering the fact that, you know, there's if they just put her model fucking... I guess it kind of makes sense, but... I love this shit, man. The upside down T-posing mommy. That's... That's... That's pretty sick. All right, what you gonna do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Retreat through the wall. Just one more time. Just, just for good measure. One more time. Get him. Let's see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. There isn't a ton to see in the make a hand room where you build your Pikachu hand, except the mysterious <laughs> white liquid. <laughs> is already prepped and ready to go at the top. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Inside the mind of the machine. I think that's all I'll do for now, but I'm going to make a second part going over the end of the game, as well as a secret debug mode that you can find in the game files, as well as any other game file oddities that I find until then. 
I'll go pretty ham tomorrow and probably have part two done then. See you later.